Oh man, hey, good morning. Let's start this joint off with the serenity prayer. Lord, grant me the strength, however that thing goes. Thursday morning as I begin this and filming while driving. It feels good to have that GoPro car mount. Um, yesterday was quite the hectic day, a lot of ups and downs, a little bit of a roller coaster. And hoping today is not gonna be like that, but it's gonna be probably that times 10, just to be honest. So, first thing is, I gotta leave by one o'clock because the dog's got a dog grooming appointment. They got a mobile groomer that comes and see, sees them. I scheduled that uh, two months ago, the last time they got groomed. And man, that couldn't be on any more of an inconvenient day. My wife can't do it because she's got another doctor's appointment this morning or this afternoon. So I'm gonna have to leave and go do that. Not only do we got three units going today, we've also got a small little office repair job to do for property three as well. Man, property three has just given us all sorts of work. Pretty crazy considering how yesterday went with the other painting company but awesome to know that we have all sorts of work. So we got three units going today. Milton and Marvin, they're gonna have a big ass three bedroom uh, downstairs unit. It's not gonna have the vaulted ceilings. And I'm gonna see where Bo and his wife ended up from yesterday. Did they get that big ass vaulted ceiling three bedroom unit done that they were working on that I helped him spray the living room and dining room of? I'm sure he probably got pretty close if it's not completed. There's also two other units going today which are smaller units, probably two bedrooms. I don't even know if this property has a one bedroom. I don't know if there's anything smaller than that two bedroom that we saw that uh, the other painter jumped into i don't know if i really shared like my frustration about that situation in particular well enough so i went and set that unit up i had my sprayer in there i had my my paint in there my ladder in there i was ready to get that unit painted i had to leave to go set up bow and the unit that he was working on yesterday i was gone for 30 minutes i came back there's another painter in there who's already painting and I'm like, yo, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, I'm painting the unit. I said, well, I thought I was gonna paint the unit. And he said, well, I can call my boss right now. I said, hey man, don't even worry about it. You got it, you can paint it. In that confusion, you know, I, I didn't really know what was going on with that situation, but later in hindsight, I would come to the realization that, you know, he probably went up in there, this painter did, and saw this other stuff in there and was like, hey, what the hell is going on here? He probably already called his boss and his, po his boss was like, hey, fuck that guy, paint that unit. <clears throat> and that's how I assume that situation played out. My beef was not with the painter. I asked, as a matter of fact, I wanted to ask the painter, hey man, you wanna come work with us with your nice ass Graco 390 paint sprayer that's it's like a thousand dollars paint sprayer he had right there matter of fact I, I the next paint sprayer i'm getting is going to be that exact paint sprayer i'm going to get a couple of those but yeah that's why i was frustrated because I, I just felt so much disrespect from the company side not the worker side but from the company itself because it was the company that made that decision yeah fuck that guy paint that unit and that's why i say man this shit is just cutthroat so don't you know, I'm not the only one being cutthroat about this. Of course, my business is the only business that matters to me. Keeping work for the guys that I have working with me. Uh, you know, I would hear about this other company that has such a bad reputation. You know, the owner of the company, he's never even been on a job. He don't go check these jobs out, out let alone do the jobs. And I mean, maybe for some companies, that's how they can operate. My company cannot operate like that. Will my company ever be able to operate like that? Maybe, but like I said, I mean, I like to do work, so I'm okay. It, it gives me something to do. It gives me a sense of fulfillment and enjoyment. So I wanted to share that first thing with you guys. Also, 
in terms of today, who we should have, we should have Milton Marvin, Bo, his wife, hopefully. Hopefully everything went well with them. Uh, it's only been three days with these guys. Today would make the fourth day. But everything's seeming to go really well with them. And then the guy Jeremiah should be back today, might be back today. He says he'll be back today. We'll see. And then the guy Brett, hopefully he'll be back today. I messaged him last night. I said, hey, man, hope the doctor's appointment went well um, and hope to see you at 8.30 tomorrow morning. I get a one-word response, okay. So, okay, we'll see. I got a boatload of other replies from ads that I've put out, so if there's trouble in paradise, I will be looking to bring somebody in today. We'll see how it all plays out. I keep mentioning this, well, I don't keep mentioning it. I, I, yesterday for the first time I mentioned the first week of September and how chaotic that's probably gonna be, how many units we're probably gonna have. And it's my anticipation that we've got two units going at each property for at least the first couple of days of the first week of September. Now, if that is the case, right now, currently, I've got about three crews, myself included. If I can find one more sprayer, one more person who can spray, could have been Lauren, I could probably make it work with that. Milton and Marvin can already do two units at property two per day. And then me and somebody else, we could get a unit done and somebody else and somebody else, they could get a unit done. Bo and his wife could get a unit done. And if I had one more spray crew or one more sprayer plus a cut man, I would call that like the flex crew. So with four sprayers and basically a helper for each sprayer, we should be able to get no less than four units done per day, probably five. So that'll keep us right there in the running for staying on schedule. I hope I didn't make that more confusing than it needed to be. I've got Milton, Bo, and myself as sprayers currently one more sprayer is what I need. That would give me four. And then I've got Marvin, hopefully Jeremiah, the Brett dude, he probably won't be around very long. If I don't, I don't have any faith in that guy. And I, that's sad, I like the guy, but I don't think he, I don't think he's rocking with this. And I think something between him and that lady, Renee, I, I don't know, maybe she talked him into saying, you know, fuck this. Because he was great at first, but then he was, we'll see. I hope he sticks around. So I'm not even sweating this first week of September. We're going to get through it. If we can get through that first week of September, we're going to get through anything. We're going to have a lot of work in September. And I'm welcoming it. I'm not fearing it at all. I'm ready for it. But I've talked enough. Let me get where I'm going. And let's see how this day plays out. I'm only gonna be there for half a day because that dog groomer situation is probably gonna take quite a bit of time. So today's gonna be the real test of fate. What can these guys get done when I'm not around? Also, I had a long conversation with Milton yesterday and he said, hey, look, man, you know, you had mentioned making us crew leaders. I wanna show you that I can do that. Milton stayed late Tuesday got there super early yesterday to get done what they needed to get done the, the unit that him and Marvin had and I thought that that was so commendable I'm gonna definitely need somebody to step up today and be overseeing the ship while I'm not there so could be could be Milton we'll see all right let's get this day rocking and rolling and I'll share more shortly all right, uh, first thing in the morning. What time is it? 8.40. So I've got Milton Marvin, Bo, Bo's girl, and Jeremiah here. And of course, Brett ain't here. 
I knew I had zero faith in this guy. And I've tried to call him. He didn't answer. I'm going to call him again. I'm just going to bug the shit out of him. Make him answer the phone. And tell me. Straight up. Tell me that you just ain't built for it. Tell me that I'm an asshole. Or tell me whatever it is. Tell me why. Tell me that the girl, Renee, uh, she made you think about things. And I don't know what there was to think about. I mean, it, was, it wasn't hard work. It was just work, and sometimes people don't like work. Let's call them again. I'm gonna bug you all day, as a matter of fact. My little safety cones. I need to put these outside of my truck. Hi, this is Brett. Please leave a detailed message. Yeah. Okay, Brett. We'll call you back in a little while. Yes, we will. All right, I got this other guy, James. He says he's been painting for 22 years. 22 years? How old are you? Are you a dinosaur? You're a fucking fossil, ain't you? I'm just kidding. <clears throat> Let's try to give James a call. I'm, I'm glad that Jeremiah showed up. I like Jeremiah, young guy. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up. Mm, okay. Who else we got? Hey, James. Just tried to give you a call about the painting work ad you responded to on Craigslist. Period. Give me a call back when you have a moment. Thank you. Could call Damon. Could call Lauren. <laughs> Tell her. Hey Lauren, do you want to work today? Oh man, we could just drive. Yes, I'll be there in I'll be there in 45 minutes. I could try this Brittany person, but I know this is gonna be some bullshit. Hey Brittany, if you're interested in working today, I have work. Painting. Let me know. Thank you. Now we're being desperate. We're reaching out to people who we didn't really want to deal with all right let's call this person i don't even know what this person's name is this person is phil about to call brett back please leave your message for uh this person says i completed job corpse for painting a while back Let's see if we can get him on the line. Probably should have had Jose come out here for the 20 bucks an hour. But I, I just felt like that was going to be some bullshit. This might be my last, my last ditch effort right here. Please leave your mess. All right, I'll hit him up and... Hey, Keon. Just tried to give you a call about the painting work ad you responded to on Craigslist. Give me a call back if you're still looking for work. Thank you. All right, that's it. Oh shit, I, I don't got you on the, on the mount. All right, so I gotta go look at these other units that we got going on. So right now we've got Milton and Marvin in one unit with the guy, Jeremiah. Then we've got Bo and his girl taking a little longer than I had hoped on the unit that they're working on. Um, and now I'm going to go check these other two units that we got. They're both smaller units. And I'll probably take the guy Jeremiah with me and I'll get to working on one of the units. And maybe we'll hear from somebody. Maybe we won't. Um, 
but regardless we'll get through the day we also got a little repair we got to go do in the office and you're probably wondering what these are they're not cones for my truck these are actually sprinkler covers uh, they got magnets on them so you just put them over the sprinkler and that way you can spray let's go check these other units and i'll share more when we see how today's going all right welcome to a unit that i'm getting ready to work on so this is one of two smaller units we've got going on today we've got another unit like that one that i showed you yesterday where the guy ended up painting it with the mini vaulted in the master if you'll remember that Got another unit like that, except when I walked into it, there was a bunch of shit in there. So they got to get somebody to come clear it out real quick. Uh, this unit had a couple of things up in it. Check out this Mona Lisa right here. Holy crikey. What is that? What is that? What is that? Yeah, that's art right there is what that is, folks. I think I'm going to take that home and put that on the wall. Uh, got some toilet paper, can't never have enough of that out here. So yeah, a couple little spots in the wall we gotta address. Nothing major, nothing major at all in here. And this is where I'm gonna start at back here in this room. Check out all this over here, that's pet hair because they had a crate in here and they were crating an animal and I, I hate that. God, I don't like that at all. That really grinds my gears right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spraying this. I'm actually gonna go grab Jeremiah and I'm gonna have him help me get this thing prepped and probably get him working on bathrooms and kitchens. Um, Bo and his girl, they're working on the unit that they're working on, that big one from yesterday. And Milton and Marvin, they're starting another big one. I got a repair to go do in the office. So yeah, pretty busy and I gotta be out of here by one o'clock. So it's my hope to get this unit almost done and as soon as Bo and his girl get done with the unit that they're working on, I'm going to send them into the mini vaulted two bedroom. They can work on that unit today. And we should be able to get, we should be able to get all of this done today. We're pretty close to all of it done today. So, hell yeah. All right, let me get set up and share more as we're working. All right, I want to show you the worst one that I've seen yet. So here's another two bedroom mini, mini bolted. Uh, we come in, here's the laundry area. Okay, what the world? It's like, this was the condition that this was left in. And, okay, that ain't too terrible there. Here's a child's room. Damn. I mean, you left everything in here. Holy moly. So this unit has to be trashed out. Uh, somebody's gotta come and do the trash out. That was a service that I was offering. I mean, I could even suggest, hey, look, we could take care of the trash out for you as well. But I just really don't have time today. <sighs> yeah, just even more shit. So we go into the master bedroom. Tons of clothes. Mm. Oh, we cleaned out that. The bathroom. Mm. Just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is the condition these people left this in. So I was supposed to paint this today. And, um, well, it can't get painted until it gets cleared out. But they're not going to clear it out till tomorrow. And we're not going to paint it until Monday. So it's just pretty crazy. Hmm. 
It's almost like a storage unit. Not sure what happened here, but that's what it is. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the best part, the kitchen. Uh, what are the chances that refrigerator's been cleaned out? Holy moly. Dang. Oh shit. This looks worse than the fridge at flip three. Damn, that's bad. All right, so I just wanted to come put eyes on this. I uh, really wanted to see what these walls were looking like and definitely see marks all on the walls here. Yeah, this one's going to be a real fun one, that's for sure. God grant me the serenity. All right, 107 in the afternoon, and uh, it's not going well. So one unit got put off until till Monday, so that's good. So really, we only have uh, one new unit, or well, two units going today. The one that Milton and Marvin are working on, and then the one that I was getting ready to spray, just that little respray. But the problem is, is we can't get out of this one that Bo and his girl were working on. And that's turning into a real situation right there. I'm seeing a lot of shitty work and I'm really starting to get pissed off with it. And me and Bo just had some words. And I'm paying you to do a job and I'm paying you $200 a day to do a job that you're not doing correctly. You remember that saying that I had where I said uh, dudes will tell you that they can paint and then show up and the shit turns into trigonometry? That is exactly what we got going on right here. That is exactly what this is. You know, you will understand that I'm going to be frustrated. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I don't care, man. It is what it is. I'm the guy who's paying you. You are going to respect that. So after today, if he makes it through today, this guy, Bo, my battery died. Uh, if let me get back in here because we are far from done with this unit. Thing. So nasty. Right. All right, four o'clock in the afternoon, and I don't know what I've shared with y'all thus far because what I've filmed has been crazy. Uh, beefing with Bo earlier today over lack of performance. You're a two hundred dollar a day guy, and I know some are gonna say, oh, Joe, but that's not a lot. Yeah, well, it's a lot in this, for sure it is. And, you know, this is day four with him, and day one and day two and day three, maybe it's day three, hell, I don't even know. Uh, day three or four, whatever it is. Uh, and today is definitely a drastic change from what we've seen in the past. Uh, and also what was done yesterday as well. So this is that big ass unit right here. And 
when I tell you that I had to come back in here and really harp on what the fuck is going on. So we go into this room right here. This room had horrible cuts all on the ceiling uh, for the wall paint. And this is where we got to arguing at actually over this. And, you know, once we got done arguing, he came in here and he was, you know, really trying to touch it all up. But he was just dicking around with trim. And trim is the least of our concerns when you probably ain't gonna be able to see it, but it's just spotty as shit and it still needs to be touched up. I didn't see this closet here because he was basically just huddled up in this room. It was in this room where he spent most of the time and I was wondering, you know, whether we were gonna stay working together or not. And really he, I was questioning, is this dude just wasting my time and my money? Uh, but we would go outside and we would hash it out and you know, I guess we would make some kind of peace, but today was just really an off day for this guy. Uh, we've left this apartment in complete disarray. When I told him to clean it up, uh, that hasn't been done. Water's left running. Uh, tub is not cleaned out. I said, hey, make sure you clean the floors in the bathroom and clean the tub. Okay, okay. Didn't do that. We've left paint out. Uh, we got a cup bucket right here with trim paint in it. We just left that out and you know, just not, not, not a good unit here, especially when I had to come back in here and help so much. When I needed to be in the office <laughs> doing this office repair that I've been bullshitting with all day. Look at this, more paint. Pretty sure that's, I don't even know what that is. So we're gonna have to come back over here and get this unit cleaned up before they leave. And where they are right now, I said, <laughs> I don't know if I shared this neither, but you know, I was so frustrated with the argument that we got in because he was like, you're not going to disrespect me. I'm a grown man, all this. And I'm like, dude, listen, you ain't going to disrespect me because I'm the one who's paying you. Okay, we're not going to do this. Uh, and I was very heated about all of that. And, you know, that wasn't, I got to do better with that. You know, I wasn't being violent with the dude. I wasn't, you know, saying anything crazy. I was just like, look, you ain't going to disrespect me neither. You know, uh, whatever. Uh, Jeremiah leaving his little fucking candy wrappers all over the place. You know, he came back from lunch stoned out of his mind and, ah, it's just tough. It's really tough. It's tough. Jeremiah's not that great neither, uh, but hopefully he'll get better. But he sucks, to be honest, in terms of cutting in trim. He's not good at that. So hopefully he'll get better. Plus he left at 3.30 today. He's not even working a full eight hours and, you know, it is what it is. Supposedly I've got this guy Brett coming back tomorrow, but he was on my shit list today as well for the no call, no show. And I would go in on him to a certain degree today as well. But hopefully he comes back tomorrow and I'm gonna be constantly looking for new people. I've got, a, next week is gonna be crazy because I got two properties with a lot of units going at both properties. And that's property one and property two. I don't even know about this property. But anyways, I only came over here to grab a couple things to share with you guys what's going on. I said I was gonna work the shit out of Bo at this next unit. It's just that little two bedroom repaint. And I I did about 30% of the spraying in that unit. Uh, him and his wife were cutting in bathrooms and kitchens. Uh, and then he can finish that. He really can finish that. Uh, I'm gonna go do this office, get this squared away. And hopefully this isn't gonna be a pain in the ass, but it probably will be. So I'll share more with you at the conclusion of today. Cause hopefully and thankfully, Today's almost over with. I'll tell you what, this lens, even though it's super zoomed in, it's great for the slow light. Super great. This is that 30 millimeter. I did order the 16 millimeter, so that'll be here tomorrow, but I won't get the chance to start using that till Saturday. All right, I hate the fact that I gotta wrap this video up from the same place that, well, I was just literally probably last filming in. And it's this unit here, still left in disarray. I'm actually getting ready to clean this up. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, man, you wanna talk about just kind of feeling a little overwhelmed. So, the situation with Bo took place today. Um, we made peace. Matter of fact, I just got done talking with him and I said, you know, I can respect a person that 
I can argue with and we can come back from that. You know, take it with a grain of salt. I'm never gonna call you out of your name. I'm never gonna disrespect you. And that's what I don't like, is when you get all hostile, and I'm not disrespecting you, I'm just bitching about the work and the quality of the work. I'm never gonna call you out your name, like Bill calling me a clown. There was no need for that. I'm not saying anything disrespectful to you. I'm just pissed about the quality of the work. I'm the boss, I can be that. I don't have to be a nice guy when shit's not going right. Okay, but anyways, me and Bill, we made peace, so that's good. Um, today was just hectic as fuck. There was a unit that was supposed to get painted that, you know, was left in disarray, showed you that. That was pretty interesting. Uh, then there's the other unit that Bo is working on right now with his wife. I actually told his wife, you know what, she can come back tomorrow, and I'll get to that in a moment. Um, and then there's the unit that Milton and Marvin are doing, and they're doing pretty good on that unit. Now, one thing that I'm learning is that this property and this manager, they are very adamant about these ceilings getting painted. And we're gonna have to paint ceilings. That's extra, for sure that's extra. Um, but yeah, you know, she had mentioned a ceiling in the unit that Milton and Marvin are in, and that ceiling's not even bad. When you look at a ceiling like this, you know this ceiling this ceiling is quite bad so hey if we're going to come and spray ceilings and we're going to do it tomorrow uh it's extra sure shit it's extra so let me share with you something that happened that i was trying to avoid happening at all costs and that was the fact that i just picked up another property and i was not trying to do that son of a bitch so they had me in the office doing a, a curtain repair which there ain't no repairing. I got to go get some new curtains, uh, some new curtain rods because the, the rods were all pieced together and makeshift and missing the center bracket. Like it just wasn't working. So I'm going to go get that tomorrow morning. I'm going to bill them for that and whatever. Um, but their big boss was in there. And then there was the lady, the boss from the other property that I went to where I said that thing was way far out there and I put the price kind of high on those. She was in there. And she seen me this afternoon. She was like, hey, all-star. Uh, man, you're like an all-star out here. Uh, we're going to be going with you. And I'm like, fuck. I don't have the workers. And, you know, I was sitting here worried about September because of three properties. Well, folks, there's now four. And I've already received a schedule for property one, which is going to be a boatload of units. I know property two is gonna be even more units. This property is gonna be even just as many units. And property four, I can't even imagine. Property four is the most work. Their expectation is higher than property one and property one's expectation is high. And I don't have a problem meeting that high expectation, but that just takes a little bit longer, you know? It takes quite a bit of time to be able to, to do that. So, all in all, business is booming. I have yet to receive that first paycheck. Did I tell you that I fucked up an invoice Joe's math? Did I tell you about that? Property one would email me and say, hey, you done billed me twice for two units. And I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna think I'm trying to get over. I wanted to hit her back and be like, look, my math, uh, you can ask anybody, my math is just, it's not very strong. So I had to go through and my organization is fucking all over the place. And I wanted to just hit her back and just say, hey, look, I'm sorry, I'm just tired. I'm tired. Um, but I got it corrected and, you know, everything's good. Anywho, hopefully a check's gonna be coming in any day now because damn, I need it. And once that check comes, I should be rolling. And man, I just need to focus on trying to get more people and really working on those people skills. Could you imagine had I still had Bill, Lauren, Skater Dude, and all these folks? I would have a bona fide company by now, but because my people skills suck, I don't. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm surely missing Lauren with her unreliable self. I'm surely missing Bill, not Skater Dude. Skater Dude was just not all that great. Maybe I should be bringing Damon back. Hey, look, that's it. Um, today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. We got two units going tomorrow, plus finishing up the units that we've got from today. And 
we got a lot of work up coming. Oh, and speaking of Jeremiah, I didn't get a chance to mention him. <clears throat> him. He left at 3.30 today, and I hope he picks it up. He's not all that great, not all that sharp with the trim, but I can appreciate the fact that he's trying. I think he's trying. I hope he's trying, and I hope he'll continue to try to get better. I got to bring in more people. That's all there is to it because we are going to have so many units going this upcoming week. It's not even going to be funny. So I need to find people and find them fast. Hey, y'all want a job? That's it. And until tomorrow, take care.